Hey Cleveland.com, meteorologist Kelly Reardon here. On the radar this week, we're talking about the evolution of weather forecasting through the ages. Weather forecasting dates back as far as 650 BCE in early civilizations using recurring astronomical and meteorological events to help monitor seasonal changes to weather. The Babylonians looked to the skies and evaluated the appearance of clouds. By 300 BCE, Chinese astronomers developed a calendar with the year split up into 24 festivals, with each festival representing a different weather type. Aristotle wrote Meteorologica in 340 BCE, focusing on theories about the formation of rain, clouds, hail, wind, thunder, lightning, and hurricanes. It wasn't until the end of the Renaissance that society realized the need to further study our atmosphere, more so than mere speculations by natural philosophers. It didn't take long for scientists to begin designing the first meteorological instruments. Nicholas Cusa invented the hygrometer, a device which measures humidity, in the mid-15th century. Around 1592, Galileo came up with the early thermometer, and by 1643, a barometer measuring pressure was invented by Evangelista Torricelli. Fast forward a few hundred years of meteorological advancements to the 1860s and we're in a time of the telegraph. The quick emergence of telegraph networks allowed for the quick sharing of weather observations to and from data compilers. Using this data, surface weather contour maps were drawn up showing the locations of storm systems and surface wind patterns. The radiosan revolutionized weather forecasting, allowing a glimpse into the upper atmosphere for the first time. Small, lightweight boxes carrying weather instruments and a radio transmitter is sent into the atmosphere with a balloon attached to the top. The hydrogen or helium-filled balloon can travel 18 miles high before bursting. Still today, radio sondes are released every 12 hours at stations across the globe. The satellite era began in the 1960s, further giving meteorologists routine access to observations and data from remote locations across the world. And satellites don't just provide images, they can calculate atmospheric temperature and humidity profiles, among other weather parameters. 